two other platforms of turnaround encounter, which includes the art of sacrifice and the making of vows. And the man Elkanah and all his house went up to offer unto the Lord their yearly sacrifice and his vow. A sacrifice is about what you have that you are offering to God when demanded. A vow is what to make in return for your desires from the Lord the following year you come. And Hannah vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou will indeed look on the affliction of thy hand, handmaid and not forget thy handmaid, but we give unto her your handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life, and there shall no reason come over his head. He made a vow in return for her demand from the Lord. So a vow is about your response to God's intervention in your affairs. Why a sacrifice is what you offer unto the Lord on demand on what you have already. It's not the volume that makes a sacrifice, it's the cost. Somebody offered a mite, and Jesus said she gave the greatest. A mite. So somebody sacrificed a hundred naira. If somebody else gives a hundred thousand naira, it's not a sacrifice. It's a leftover. There are the things he gives to those who greet him. For greeting him. Amen. That young man is very good. He greets me all the time. One hundred thousand. <laughs> that can't be a sacrifice to you. But somebody gave a hundred naira. The only one he has remaining is five naira. Somebody has walked away from this place on foot and came the following year riding a car. He offered the shoe. Give what to have. The only thing he has that holds value is shoe. And in case God needs to wear a shoe tomorrow, let me give it to him. He gave God his shoes and came back to Utah Cramry the following year. So it's not about the volume, it's about the cost that, that sacrifice please on you. I will not offer unto God a sacrifice of that which cost me nothing. Second Samuel 24, 24, of that which cost me nothing. Of, I will fully pay for it. I will not offer unto God a sacrifice of that which cost me nothing. It's about the cost. Now, look up here. If I sacrificed 50 naira under any condition in those early days, God will be dancing. If, eh? My son, 50 naira? Ah! Ah! The angels are saying, Father, what's happening? He ah! ah! I can't talk now. This 50 naira is too much. Because that was my level there. Our total income as a church worldwide was 18,600 naira for a whole year. So where will you get 1984, not 24, 1984. Okay. That was where we were. So start from where you are. Don't post to God. He knows your level. Start from where you are. Don't post. Don't look at somebody says sacrifice. <laughs> How can they give chapters and answer? I'm giving 500. God forbid, but. <laughs> But if I ever called a millionaire a sacrifice to God, he would slap me. No, not with the blessing is brought upon my life. Now, if I give you 100 naira now under any condition, 
you may take it out of respect. But when you leave me, you say, is this my size? Oh, God. You know why you are saying that? The one who gave it to you is more than that. God is changing your story. So we have the altar of sacrifice and the altar of vows. All at Shiloh. Can I hear your amen? amen? I commend you to God, to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and give your own inheritance. Among them we shall sanctify. Lift up your two hands. Many years ago, I said in my heart, God, if you ever prosper me, I want to be part of building churches for you. I had no bank account when I said that. It was in the heart of my father David to build a house. And God said, thou doest well. He said, kingdom dreams are the highways to a boom. Kingdom dreams, kingdom dreams, kingdom dreams, kingdom dreams, kingdom you, You'll be so blessed and so restful and so peaceful and so joyful. Amen. Amen. By the blessings of God. Amen. Whatever came down with you to Shiloh, dead will return back alive. Yeah. Whatever came down with you to Shiloh dead shall return back alive. Yeah. I was sharing a testament of the withered hand that Jesus straightened yesterday and that girl with a shorter hand than the other grew out by the power of God. Whatever is unequal in your health, in your business, in your life, grows up to match now. The same way many have gotten a turnaround from the altar of sacrifice, you will get yours this time. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every reproach will be rolled away from every area of your life. 